tearful testimony from the victim in the Vanderbilt rape case left the judge with a big decision to make. How many years to sentence convicted rapist Corey Beatty? The judge settled on the minimum sentence 15 years after hearing from the victim, Beatty's mother, his pastor, and Beatty himself. Our Jason Lamb was in the courthouse today as the sentence came down. Jason, there were some very emotional words from the victim today. It was. It took less than two hours for Judge Monty Watkins to make his decision. By the end of the day, though, it was very clear the kind of emotional impact that that rape had on the former Vanderbilt student. All right. Make no mistake, the sentencing hearing that took place today surrounded a rape case, not a theft. I know that after three years and everything that has happened. But today, the Vanderbilt rape victim said convicted rapist Corey Beatty took something that wasn't his on June 22, 2013. A sense of being a whole person with hopes and dreams about what's possible in the world was now gone. She and the prosecution asked for the maximum 25-year sentence for Beatty. Coming to his defense was his own mother. Because like we say, everybody deserves a second chance. And two of his pastors who asked for leniency. But please have mercy on him. They said it was the six to ten shots of alcohol Beatty had in his dorm that caused him to rape the victim. Well, when you're under influence of another spirit, I, don't, I can't answer because that spirit that he was under could make you do anything. Beatty himself read the words he wanted the victim to hear. I hope that if not today, maybe one day you will find it in your heart to forgive me for any damages that I may have caused. By morning's end, it was the minimum sentence that Judge Monty Watkins decided to hand down. The sentence will be 15 years at 100 percent. That's going to be the judgment of court. 15 years for aggravated rape, a crime where no one died, but a crime the victim said nonetheless killed a part of her that night three years ago. Something permanent snapped that day. I felt myself detached from my body. Now I feel like I'm walking around in the shell of someone else. Three other defendants have been charged in the Vanderbilt rape case. Brandon Vandenberg is set for sentencing at the end of September, and Brandon Bakes and Jaborian Tip McKenzie are awaiting their trial. Reporting live outside the courthouse downtown, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.